Hey, Charger History. Today's essential question is, who was Prince Henry the Navigator? With only 20 days until you take the history I leap, let's continue to show off how you remember things from way back in the fall. You know, way back in 2014. Here's a question from Unit 5, China. Yesterday, we finished up your Crusades DBQ. Which of the following statements summarizes the Christian Crusader's goal? Great job, and I want you to take note that these red crosses that you see, and also this type of red cross on their uniform, those were the symbol of the Christian Crusades. Today, we're going to talk about what happened at the, at the end of the Middle Ages. We know that part of Europe's problem during the Middle Ages was that they didn't really trade with other civilizations. They were pretty self-sufficient. Most of everything that they needed, they found in their manners because, you know, they grew their own food, they built their own stuff in the workshops, um, they went to church in their own community. And so there were limited things that they needed that they felt like they needed to trade with others. So because they didn't really, oh, and they protected themselves as much as they could because we know the Middle Ages were sort of a dangerous time with no central government. So because they kept to themselves, they didn't really learn new ideas and innovations. But with the Crusades, as this map shows us, I see that this map is central idea is about the Crusades. Um, it was like the whole world opened up. Look, people were able to leave from Western Europe and sail to new places in the Middle East. Suddenly, they knew about spices and silk and cinnamon and about innovations like, pump, like the compass and gunpowder. They met new people and learned about new languages and new ideas. They were hungry for more. And so the Europeans began to learn to sail the world. So the time period after the end of the Middle Ages is called the Age of Exploration. Now follow along on your passage. Annotate to get 100% on your practice grade today. The age of exploration started in the 1400s. Europeans were desperate to get spices from Asia. Spices were used to preserve foods and keep them from spoiling. But spices were expensive and dangerous to get. Traders had to travel parts of the dangerous Silk Road to get them. Because the Silk Road was frequently closed due to wars, European rulers had to begin to pay for explorations to find a sea route to Asia so they could get spices more easily and for cheaper. So to summarize that, the Silk Road is this orangish line and that's how people relied on trade for a long time. But different reasons, different conflicts stopped people from being able to trade along this land route. And so the Europeans began to try finding these blue routes so that they could trade in besides using the Silk Road. Portugal was the first European country. Portugal is this little tiny country inside this red circle. It was the first country that sent explorers to search for the sea route to Asia. Portuguese explorers saw themselves also as missionaries, spreading Christianity, even as they looked for trade routes. So that's why you still see the crusade symbol on boats in the 1400s. Even though the crusades aren't really happening anymore, people are still trying to spread Christianity. Prince Henry the Navigator, who lived from 1394 to 1460, was a Portuguese royal prince, soldier, and patron. A patron is someone who pays for a journey of explorers. Henry sent many sailing expeditions down Africa's west coast, but he did not go on them himself. As a result of Prince Henry's patronage, Portuguese ships sailed halfway down the western coast of Africa. You see his ships went in this red line. The reasons for these expeditions were to create maps of the West African coast. This is one of the early maps that people created. See, they didn't really know what shape Africa was, but they were starting to learn. They wanted to learn more about how they could create maps of Africa. They wanted especially to defeat the Muslims in the Crusades and spread Christianity around the world. And they wanted to establish trade routes. African gold was in demand and a route around Africa could open an easier way to trade with Asia.
Prince Henry was the third son of King John I of Portugal. When Henry was 21, he, his father, and his brothers attacked the Muslim port of Ceuta in northern Africa as part of the Crusades. The successful attack in 1415 inspired Prince Henry to explore Africa, most of which was unknown to Europeans. The Prince Henry was determined to see Portuguese sailors sail down the west coast of Africa, as you see on this map, to find the limits of the Muslim world so that they could defeat the Muslims. About 1418, Prince Henry started the first school for oceanic navigation in Portugal. Navigation means using tools to find your way around the ocean. So he wanted to teach European sailors how to do that. No joke, the school that he built is right there. Can you imagine if, going, if this was your school and this was what was around your school? So that's where the Portuguese sailors learned how to sail. In this school, people were trained in navigation, map making, and science in order to sail down the west coast of Africa. So how did Prince Henry's students, the Portuguese explorers, find their way around these vast unknown oceans? They began to invent tools to help them navigate. To navigate means to steer a ship with the help of tools and maps. A tool that Portuguese sailors used was the compass. A compass uses a magnet to show sailors which direction is north, helping them decide which direction they're currently moving in. Even more sophisticated than that was the astrolabe, a tool that helps sea captains find their latitude using the stars. Knowing the ship's latitude would tell them how far north or south a ship was from the equator. Astrolabes enabled explorers to sail accurately using the stars by day or night. At this time, no Europeans had ever sailed past the treacherous Cape Bojador and returned alive. Cape Bojador is on the coast of Africa, just below latitude 27 north, off the western Sahara Desert, and had frequent violent storms and strong currents. The Europeans called this ocean beyond that point the Sea of Darkness. Most sailors refused to go there. Well, it's because no one had ever been there before. They didn't realize that it was just another normal ocean. But Prince Henry sent 14 expeditions there over 12 years, trying to go farther than Cape Bojador. His sailors eventually succeeded, reaching all the way to Cape Palma, as shown on the map. So by the time of Prince Henry's death, he had gotten people to not just stop here, which is where they wanted to stop. He had convinced at least 14 more sailors to keep on pushing and go all the way down here. That's why Prince Henry the Navigator is credited with pretty much being the first person to start the Age of Exploration. So who was Prince Henry the Navigator? Go ahead and answer that when you summarize. Please pause and make your summary. And your summary should start by saying, Prince Henry the Navigator was. Do a great job on your summary and get 100 on that part of your practice.